All right, let's talk about the Nothing OS 1.5.1. So as I covered in the last video, Nothing released the Android 13 based Nothing OS 1.5 for the phone one users. And it was a pretty stable update for the most part. And I did use it for a month now almost. And now they have launched the second version based on Android 13, which is now Nothing OS 1.5.1. And it brings a bunch of fixes to the table along with some new stuff which we are going to talk about in this video. So without further delay, let's just get into all the tiny details. By the way, this is your host Manik and I welcome you again to yet another video. And before we start, a tap on that subscribe button will cost you nothing and help the channel out. Anyways, the update weighs around 120 MB in size and a lot of you updated to the last version manually. But don't worry though, you can update to this version manually as well. And in fact, I was selected for the beta program now and it might be the case for you as well. So you can check your emails for the same and if you got the email, you will get all the OTAs on this in the future. For those who didn't, well here is how you can update. Anyways, first up, you need the zip file of this update that has to be installed and it is around 120 MB in size. So download it and now open any file manager that you have. Now here, create a new folder and name it OTA and move the update file into this folder. As simple as that. Now open the Google dialer on your phone and type star hash star hash 682 hash star hash star and now it will open an update menu for you. So it will show you the update zip file is there that you downloaded. And if not, you can just choose it from the browse option. And now it will ask you if you wish to install it. So tap on the OK button and you are all set. So this will start installing the update on your Nothing Phone 1 and it will take around 10 minutes at max. After which the device will restart automatically and you are all set. You are now on Nothing OS 1.5.1. Let's start off with the benchmark scores now. And on Geekbench with the previous version, the device used to score 818 in single core and 2994 in the multi core score. And now it scores 811 in single core and 2897 in the multi core score. On the Android 2, the device used to score 474,000 points. And now it scores 568,000 points. Though these scores are only for your reference and don't mean that much in the real world usage. Coming back to the new features, now first up on the lock screen, we now have the ability to choose quick shortcuts like you can choose home controls, camera, torch and wallet. Though I wish we could choose any application, but this is great too and you can just long press to launch any of these. Secondly, the transition from lock screen to home screen is now much more refined and you can see the animation here. It looks quite smooth so far. The default launcher also has some new wallpapers that look quite good and I would love to see more of them. Overall, the system UI and launcher is just the same as before, but it seems a little more smoother animation wise and overall it improves on the user experience. I also used to face random crashes on lock screen before, which I haven't seen as of now on the Nothing OS 1.5.1. They've also made some refinements to the quick settings panel and the data tile now specifies the data used and you can switch between sim cards easily while using dual sims. Overall, I like the little details here and would be very helpful especially while using 5G. Talking about 5G and battery life, well, I did take a day to post this video as I had to test out the battery life at least for 2 days or so. And I was on 5G all the time and got around 5.5 hours of SOT on Wi-Fi and 5G and around 5 hours of SOT while using 5G only for the whole day almost. Overall, the screen on time with 5G can be improved a bit, but it is somewhat better than before for sure. The charging time is same as before, that is around 70 minutes with a 33W PD charger. Another new thing that has been added with this update are the new Glyph ringtones and notification ringtones too. So now there is yet another pack of ringtones with around 10 more in each, which have unique sound and light effects and they look quite good too. Also the Nothing X app, which is used to control the Nothing Ear 1 and stick, are now available by default on this phone. Though there should be an option to uninstall it, but sadly it is not there as of now, but you can disable it. In the camera app, nothing much has changed with the UI and features, but the menu animations and transitions are a bit smoother now. The image quality remains unchanged as compared to the last version. Also the device is now on January 22 security patch, which is the latest one till now, plus the apps like Netflix and Google Pay are working fine too. Lastly, the auto brightness implementation has been updated with this version and now it does adapt a bit more quickly and works better than before I would say. Apart from this, there are some minor bug fixes and overall stability improvements and that's pretty much it for the changes. 
By the way, there was this bug with the glyph light and the smaller LED just used to stay on like a tube light the whole time. And sadly, that bug is still there with this version. Overall, this update feels quite solid and you can definitely try it out now if you wish to as we now know how easy it is to install new updates and how stable they are in day to day usage. So these are all the changes that you get with the Nothing OS 1.5.1 update on the phone one. And if you do end up liking this video, make sure to press that like button and that bell icon if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.